Hey guys, so today we will be doing chapter 2, but not completely, because actually chapter 2 is a questionnaire and then a score sheet and then um, interpreting the scores, but we will not be doing that because I am now a licensed therapist. So, but there is this part, which is um, the 11 life traps briefly in chapter 2, and that I will read because I think it's a good like little summary of it. Without further ado, I will simply start reading. Okay. So life traps relate to a lack of safety or security in your childhood family. These are abandonment and mistrust. Abandonment. The abandonment life trap is the feeling that the people you love will leave you, and you will end up emotionally isolated forever. Whether you feel people close to you will die, leave home forever, or abandon you because they prefer someone else, somehow you feel that you will be left alone. Because of this belief, you may cling to people close to you too much. Ironically, you end up pushing them away. You may get very upset or angry about even normal separation. Mistrust and abuse. The mistrust and abuse life trap is the expectation that people will hurt or abuse you in some way, that they will cheat, lie to, manipulate, humiliate, physically harm, or otherwise take advantage of you. If you have this life trap, you hide behind a wall of mistrust to protect yourself. You never let people get too close. You are suspicious of other people's intentions and tend to assume the worst. You expect that the people you love will betray you. Either you avoid relationships altogether, form superficial relationships in which you do not really open up to others, or you form relationships with people who treat you badly and then feel angry and vengeful towards them. So life traps relate to your ability to function independently in the world. These life traps are dependence and vulnerability. Dependence. If you are caught in the dependence life trap, you feel unable to handle everyday life in a competent matter, manner without considerable help from others. You depend on others to act as a crutch and need constant support. As a child, you were made to feel incompetent when you try to assert your independence. As an adult, you seek out strong figures upon whom to become dependent and allow them to rule your life. At work, you shrink from acting on your own. Needless to say, this holds you back. Vulnerability With vulnerability, you live in fear that disaster is about to strike. Whether natural, criminal, medical, or financial, you do not feel safe in the world. If you have this life trap, as a child you were made to feel that the world is a dangerous place. You are probably overprotected by your parents, who worry too much about your safety. Your fears are excessive and unrealistic, yet you let them control your life and pour your energy into making sure that you are safe. Your fears may revolve around illness, having an anxiety attack, getting AIDS, or going crazy. They may be focused around financial vulnerability, going broke and ending up on the streets. Your, your vulnerability may revolve around other phobic situations, such as the fear of flying, being mugged, or earthquakes. Two life traps relate to the strength of your emotional connections to others, emotional deprivation and social exclusion. Emotional deprivation. Emotional deprivation is the belief that your need for love will never be met adequately by other people. You feel that no one truly cares for you or understands how you feel. You find yourself attracted to cold and ungiving people, or you are cold and ungiving yourself, leading you to form relationships that inevitably prove unsatisfying. You feel cheated and you alternate between being angry about it and feeling hurt and alone. Ironically, your anger just drives people further away, ensuring your continued deprivation. When patients with emotional deprivation come to us for therapy sessions, there is a loneliness about them that stays with us even after they have left the office. It is a quality of emptiness, of emotional disconnection. These are people who do not know what love is. Social exclusion. Social exclusion involves your connection to friends and groups. It has to do with feeling isolated from the rest of the world, with feeling different. 
If you have this life trap, as a child you felt excluded by peers, you did not belong to a group of friends, perhaps you had some unusual characteristics that made you feel different in some way. As an adult, you maintain your life trap mainly through avoidance. You avoid socializing in groups and making friends. You may have felt excluded because there was something about you that other, ch that other children rejected. Hence, you felt socially undesirable. As an adult, you may feel that you are ugly, sexually undesirable, low in status, poor in conversational skills, boring, or otherwise deficient. You reenact your childhood rejection. You feel that you feel and act inferior in social situations. It is not always apparent that someone has a social exclusion life trap. Many people with this life trap are quite comfortable in intimate settings and are quite socially skilled their life trap may not show in one-to-one -one relationships it sometimes surprises us to realize how anxious and aloof they may feel at parties in classes at meetings or at work they have a restless quality a quality of looking for a place to belong the two life traps that are related that relate to your self-esteem are defectiveness and failure defectiveness with defectiveness you feel inwardly flawed and defective you believe that you would be fundamentally unlovable to anyone who got close enough to really know you your defectiveness would be exposed as a child you did not feel respected for who you were in your family instead you were criticized for your flaws you blamed yourself you felt unworthy of love as an adult you are afraid of love you find it difficult to believe that people close to you value you so you expect rejection failure failure is the belief that you are inadequate in areas of achievement such as school work and sports you believe you have failed relative to your peers as a child you were made to feel inferior in terms of achievement you may have had a learning disability or you may ne never have learned enough discipline to master important skills such as reading other children were always better than you you were called stupid untalented or lazy as an adult you maintained your life trap by exaggerating the degree of your failure by acting in ways that ensure your continued failure two life traps deal with self-expression your ability to express what you want and get your true needs met subjugation and unrelenting standards Subjugation. With subjugation, you sacrifice your own needs and desire for the sake of pleasing others or meeting their needs. You allow others to control you. You do this either out of guilt that you hurt other people by putting yourself first or fear that you will be punished or abandoned if you disobey. As a child, someone close to you, probably a parent, subjugated you. As an adult, you repeatedly enter relationships with dominant controlling people and subjugate yourself to them or you enter relationships with needy people who are too damaged to give back to you in return unrelenting standards if you are in the unrelenting standards life trap you strive relentlessly to meet extremely high expectations of yourself you place excessive emphasis on status money achievement beauty order or recognition at the expense of happiness pleasure health a sense of accomplishment and satisfying relationships you probably apply your rigid standards to other people as well and are very judgmental when you were a child you were expected to be the best you were thought that anything else was failure you learned that nothing you did was quite good enough entitlement the final life trap entitlement is associated with the ability to accept realistic limits in life people who have this life trap feel special they insist that they be able to do say or have whatever they want immediately they disregard what others consider reasonable what is actually feasible the time or patience usually required and the cost to others they have difficulty with self-discipline many of the people with this life trap were spoiled as children they were not required to show self-control or to accept the restrictions placed on other children as adults they still get very angry when they do not get what they want now you have an idea of which life traps apply to you the next chapter chapter will tell you about where life traps come from how we develop them as children so guys that was it i hope you guys enjoyed um 
So this was the title of this was um, the 11 life traps briefly. In case you were wondering, I don't think I mentioned that at the beginning. But okay, have a good day. Goodbye.